Hey, welcome back. Hey, got a question for you. You got a favorite fast food restaurant you like to eat at? Even better yet, is there a certain mascot or character you like from those restaurants? Well, today I'm going through the list of all the different characters and mascots all from all the different fast food restaurants. So, some of these characters you've never heard of before, some of them are extremely familiar. So, I'm calling this my top 10 current, classic, and forgotten fast food characters. <laughs> Number 10. Let's start off with Hardy's at number 10. Now this was a bit hard because Hardy is not known for having any memorable characters. We have the Hardy star now, but you hardly ever see it, which is why I did not make this list. But I did manage to find a group of characters that did do several commercials together. First we have the shifty Speedy McGreedy and his counterpart, the Sheriff Gilbert Gideon. Hurry on down to Hardy's, where the burgers at charcoal broil. <laughs> Today I'm gonna rush me a Hardy's cheese boiker. Okay, kids. Today we're gonna learn about the Hardy's cheese boiker, French fries, and soft drinks. <laughs> Speedy McGreedy, there's only one thing worse than a burger rustler, and that's a cheeseburger rustler. Kill baby, you turn me Next we have the Big Mouths, which would appear in different forms, threatening to eat everything unless it's given a Hardee's burger. I want juicy burgers, sizzling outside, juicy inside. Super Mouth, let's say hello to Hardee. Hey, it's Gilbert, it's Speedy McGreedy. Super Mouth, lead all the burgers in Hardee's. I'll stop him, I'll give you a juicy burger. Hardee's, no! And lastly, we have an animated character out of its fun machine. Now the fun machine was something Hardee's used to have where kids could get tokens to get a prize out of. A ring! I got a plastic spider! I got a rock. Well, to all these characters, say hello to the number 10 spot. Hello, Hardee's. Well, hello, Hardee's. Our mouths are full to taste since way back when. Hardee's taste that brings us back again. A pizza hut, a pizza hut, can we try chicken and a pizza hut? A pizza hut, a pizza hut, can we try chicken and a pizza hut? The Noid from Domino's Pizza. Now the story behind this was that if you ever got a pizza delivered to you and it was cold or messed up, it was because the Noid got to it. If you've ever gotten cold pizza, a squashed pizza, or pizza that just wasn't right, the Noid did it. But at Domino's Pizza, we avoid the Noid. By the way, if this animation looks familiar, it's because it was done by Will Vinton, the guy behind the California Raisins. <laughs> So you can avoid the Noid by going to Domino's, but the Noid can avoid arriving at number 9. Domino's Pizza delivers. Number 8. Herb from Burger King. At one point, Burger King had a series of commercials featuring a campaign to find the one guy who has not tried one of their burgers, Herb. This is the best picture of Herb we have. We do know Herb is the one man who's never tasted a Burger King burger. Herb has never enjoyed this juice, this sizzling beef, or grown to love flame broiling instead of frying. Grow up, Herb. At one point, Burger King got so frustrated at being unable to locate Herb, they offered their burgers for 99 cents if you came in and said, I'm not Herb. 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 And what if your name happens to be Herb? Just say, I'm not the Herb you're looking for. Then the day finally came when we finally meet Herb. And if you were the first to spot him, you could win $5,000. Now the ultimate development in the search for Herb. Herb. Herb, is it true you finally tasted a Whopper? Yes, it was very good. And now you're planning to visit a Burger King in every state? Can you confirm that the first person to spot you in each restaurant wins $5,000? And that everybody there gets a chance at a million? And a free Whopper and a Pepsi? Absolutely. Well, if you don't spot Herb at Burger King, you can spot him here at number eight. Spot her at Burger King and win $5,000 and a chance at a million. Number nine. 
number seven. Clara Peller from Wendy's. Now, if at first glance you don't recognize her, you may recognize her from her infamous catchphrase. Hello? Where is the beef? That's right, she's the woman behind the famous Where's the Beef line. She's done other commercials, including one for a dog food brand, and she's appeared on the big screen, including this scene from Moving Violations. Where's the beef? Right here, ma'am. That's good. God rest her soul, Clara Peller was truly a classic fast food icon. Welcome to the number seven spot. Hey, where's the thief? I don't think there's anybody back there. You want something better. You're Wendy's kind of people. Number six. You're getting sleepy. Very sleepy. No, wait. You're getting hungry. Very hungry. The Taco Bell Dog. In the late 90s, Taco Bell introduced us to a talking chihuahua who would walk up to people and say, Yo quiero Taco Bell. Here's another fun fact. Even though you hear a male voice, that dog is actually a female named Gidget. She would also appear in the movie Legally Blonde 2 and a commercial for Geico. Next, please. Well, hello. Oh, great. A talking gecko. So be careful not to drop your chalupa because the number six spots get it will be waiting. Yeah, drop that chalupa. Number five. The Wendy's Girl. Now, almost everyone is familiar with this famous girl that has been on the sign of the restaurant for decades. Named after Dave Thomas's fourth daughter, the Wendy's girl has only appeared on the sign and not on any TV ads up until recently. After Dave Thomas's death in 2002, the real life Wendy did do a few commercials, but only for a short time. Which brings us today where we have our current Wendy's girl known as Red. Her name is Morgan Smith Goodwin, and she's been the face of the franchise as part of its Now That's Better campaign. That locks in number five. On to the next. Now that's better. Number four. The Burger King. This character has gone through several changes over the years. Starting out in the late 60s and early 70s, the Burger King started out as an animated character. Here's the Burger King himself. Your Highness, exactly what is it you go to Burger King for? Lunch. <laughs> yes, but I mean, is it the Whopper? Thank you. Or the fries? Don't mind if I do. Or the shakes? Chocolate. Today, we have the character simply known as the King. A rather creepy version of the Burger King with this permanent frozen smile and just appearing out of nowhere just to offer you a sandwich. But the version I remember growing up is the one known as the Marvelous Magical Burger King. That's not the real Magic Burger King. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, yes, it is. The Magic Burger King. Live and in color. He's the Marvelous Magical Ooh. Burger King. He can do up anything. Now watch me, kids, when I twist my rings like magic. We're at Burger King. Where I'll do my magic while all of you sing. He will later be joined by other characters, such as the Burger Thing, the Talking Hamburger Portrait. There was also Sir Shake-A-Lot. Kids, meet Sir Shake-A-Lot. Sir Shake-A-Lot's my name. Drinking shakes is my game. When Shake-A-Lot's thirsty, he loves a good shake. It's so cold and frosty, it makes him quake. Yeah, I think it's more than a shake that's causing your problems there. You want to keep working here. Stay off the drugs. And there was the Duke of Doubt, who doubted that Burger King's magic was actually real. I'm the Duke of Doubt, and I'll prove to you this monkey business isn't true. Whoa! Floating in air, it's easy for me. Magic's only trickery. Well, there's no doubt that the king is here at number four. With these slippery soles, I'll take first prize. He loves magic and more than He's got fun, he's got fun, he's got fun for everyone. Number 3. 
Chuck E. Cheese from Chuck E. Cheese. Who would have thought that a mouse would be the main star of a pizza franchise? But after merging with his competitor Showbiz Pizza in 1984, Chuck E. Cheese has been the mascot who greets and entertains kids and parents ever since. From his beginnings as an animatronic puppet to the CG rock star of today, Chuck E. Cheese secures his spot at number three. Number two. No. No. It's it's the Colonel. Ah. Ah. Keep away. Ah. Colonel Sanders from KFC. Probably one of the most recognized people in the world, the Colonel has been the face of KFC ever since he opened his first restaurant back in 1952. Even today, the Colonel lives on being portrayed by comedian Norm MacDonald. Howdy folks, it's me, the real Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders, you have definitely earned your place at the number two spot. Hey, look at there, didn't I tell you it was finger licking good? <laughs> Kentucky Fried Chicken. If you want Kentucky Fried Chicken, you have to visit me. And the number one spot in the top ten current classic and forgotten fast food character goes to... Ronald McDonald from McDonald's. Yeah, like you didn't see this one coming. It's no doubt that Ronald McDonald is the most popular character in all of fast food since debuting in 1963. As a matter of fact, that's actually Willard Scott from the Today Show playing the first Ronald. He's Ronald McDonald, the hamburger happy clown, a McDonald's drive-in restaurant is his favorite place in town. Just like the Burger King, Ronald McDonald was another character that had a whole crew of sidekicks joining him. There was Grimace, Birdie the Early Bird, a guy known as the Professor, Mayor of the Cheese, the McDonald's Chicken McNuggets, the barbecue sauce. Hello? 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 From McDonald's Happy Meal. Meal. Regular hamburger. Regular fries. Regular soft drink. Now this is a good night. <laughs> Ronald McDonald in. <laughs> Fry kids. And of course, the Hamburglar. Rabble, rabble. By the way, I gotta mention this. Recently, McDonald's started a campaign reintroducing to us to the Hamburglar. But instead of the bright, smiling version we grew up with, we get this guy. Rubble, rubble, America. <laughs> I am back. What were they thinking? I mean, are creepy mascots the new trend now? First, the Burger King gives us the Creepy King. McDonald's comes out with this rubble rubble weirdo. What's next? Is Cujo gonna be the new Taco Bell dog? Oh well, at least for the time being, we can still look back at Ronald McDonald as the number one mascot of all fast food characters. top 10 list for fast food characters. So what y'all think? Are the characters I should have left out? Are there some other characters I should have put in? Well, leave it in the comment section. We'll talk about it there. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button at the bottom. And I will see you next time on Low Tone Entertainment. Can I take you order, please?